Now, I want to talk about your book. Now, uh, it's an excellent book. I've, I've read it and, and uh, been stimulated by it, and I'd, I'd like to, you to re review your reasons for, for writing it and then some, some policy recommendations that you make in it. Well, Bill, I, uh, I came back in government. I've been out of government since the Reagan days. I wrote this book, which I started about three years ago, because I was worried, even during a Republican administration, that we'd lost our way. I, I am concerned that in the post-Reagan period of, of national Republican politics, uh, particularly during the eight years of George W. Bush's administration, we squandered the political capital that Goldwater Reagan conservatives took more than three decades to build up. And we've got to put it back together. How do we win back the Reagan Democrats and independents? How do we go from having the strongest economy in the world to being in the most serious national recession since the time of the Great Depression? What happened to a nation which, after we won the Cold War, thanks to Ronald Reagan's strategy to defeat the Soviet Empire, how do we go from a nation that was the most respected nation in the world to a nation viewed by some so-called expert pundits as in a state of irreversible decline and what happened to a culture that was once guided by the principles of Christianity uh, and, and, and Judeo-Christian ethic and now we have a Hollywood culture we're not exporting manufactured goods anymore we're exporting a Hollywood culture and it sure doesn't represent America very good abroad I also deal with the threat of radical Islam and and and, and I don't just complain about what what's wrong but lay out in the second part of the book a series of solutions to the problems and really if we return to our constitutional principles uh, the principles of checks and balances federalism returning power to the people and the, the states and the peoples wherever possible uh, do what we did in the Reagan administration with welfare reform returning power and money from the federal government to the states and local communities we can do that for education we can do that for transportation literally we can do that across the board on domestic policy and we need to do it. Government's out of control, the debt levels are too high, ultimately the way we're heading there, the folks in Washington are going to bankrupt our nation. Tom, I know people want to read this book and, and uh, be invigorated by the ideas that you've been propounding. How do they get it? They can go to Tom Paul. Uh, T-O-M-T-A-U-K-E-N. They can see some of the interviews I've had, some excerpts from the book, some of the reviews, American Conservative, uh, American Spectator, Human Events, book list have all reviewed it. And also I uh, can order it from Amazon.com. It's called Bringing America Home. I want to recommend it very strongly. It's, it's, a, it's a superb book. Thank you, Bill. A wonderful statement. Tom, let me ask you one last question. Right. What, what advice have you got from the Republican Party as it gathers here to get to Well, uh, I think we've got to remember an important lesson. Uh, no more or lesser of two evils. Uh, we've got to stand for conservative principles. I started with Barry Goldwater as a young Texan in Washington, D.C., in the Goldwater for President campaign. And I thought I had joined the losing side of history, if you will, but it was the right thing to do. And out of that came 16 years later the nomination and election of Ronald Reagan, who literally uh, stood by his conservative principles and brought a team of people to Washington who were dedicated to executing his strategy. That's what we need again. Return to our conservative principles. We don't have to reinvent conservatism, but apply them to the problems we face, face today and rebuild that team of people. We had it briefly in the mid-90s. I know when I was party chairman at that time, but we've sort of gotten divided. It's real hard to put together a coalition of social and economic conservatives. It's very easy for it to come undone, but we've got to put it together for the the sake of our children and grandchildren. We've got five to ten years, in my estimation, to turn this nation around, and we've got to understand the stakes are high, and we can do it. We, we went into the Reagan administration with serious problems, and look at what happened with just four years of good work. We could do it again, but we've got to get the ship of state uh, sailing back in the right direction again. Thank you for that heartening and that challenging message, Tom Hawkins. This is Bill Murchison talking to Tom Hawkins, chairman of the Texas Workforce Commission and, and uh, author of Bringing America Home. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Tom.